Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the story of a scientific giant, a man whose work you definitely remember from chemistry class. We're talking about Dmitry Mendeleev, the genius who gave us the periodic table of elements. You know, that beautiful organized chart that hangs in every science classroom around the world. It's the roadmap to the entire universe of matter. But what if I told you that behind this incredible feat of organization was a method so bizarre, so dangerous, it would get any modern chemist fired on the spot. So picture this. It's the 19th century. The world of chemistry is a bit like the Wild West. Scientists are discovering new elements left and right, but it's chaotic. There's no system, no order. Everyone has their own way of describing things, and it's a total mess. This is where Mendeleev comes in. He was obsessed with finding a pattern, a hidden logic that connected all the known elements. He spent years on this puzzle, writing down the properties of each element on individual cards, almost like he was playing a game of solitaire with the building blocks of the universe. He arranged them by atomic weight, by their properties, by how they reacted with other substances. He'd spend hours, even days, shuffling these cards around, looking for the secret language of matter. But here's where things get really weird. Mendeleev believed that to truly understand an element, a chemist needed to use all of their senses, and he meant all of them, including taste. That's right, this brilliant scientist would literally taste chemical compounds to get more information about them. He'd put substances in his mouth to see if they were sour, salty, bitter, or something else entirely. Now, before you even think about it, let me be crystal clear. Do not try this at home, or anywhere, ever. Many of the substances Mendeleev worked with were incredibly toxic, even deadly. We're talking about things that could cause serious harm, so why on earth would he do it? For Mendeleev, taste was just another data point. It was another clue in his great detective story. A sour taste might suggest an acid, a salty taste might indicate a certain type of salt compound. It was a risky, almost reckless approach, but in his mind, it was part of a complete, immersive investigation into the nature of matter. This strange habit, combined with his meticulous card-sorting method, eventually led to his breakthrough. He realized that if he arranged the elements by increasing atomic weight, their properties would repeat in regular, predictable intervals or periods. This was the birth of the periodic table. The most incredible part? His table had gaps. He boldly predicted that these gaps were for elements that hadn't even been discovered yet. And he was right. He even predicted their properties with stunning accuracy, all based on the patterns he had uncovered. Mendeleev's story is a powerful reminder that genius often walks a strange path. 